Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Charlie Chaplin's A Woman of Paris in 1923. So yes, uh, finally, um, you know, the last, it's basically the last Chaplin review I done was back in August and finally here to start once again, um, you know, the Chaplin reviews, um, of course continue. I'll be review going back to reviewing all these shorts, you know, reviewing, watching them, reviewing them again. Pretty much all the shorts anyway, because um, there are quite a lot. And of course, going through this set, um, once again, the Chaplin collection. The only other, you know, feature film that I'd done was The Kid, um, of course, one of my favourite films of all time. Um, and of course, Chaplin, um, for me, one of the top five directors of all time. Um, you know, I think he, you know, a contender for the director who's moved me the most, um, along with, you know, Kubrick and Spielberg. Um, you know, I think very, very close to being in that top three, if not in the top three, um, you know, my favourite directors. Um, and just, just uh, so something else, you know, his films, um, especially... His best works, um, his best film for me is actually my top 10 of all time, um, and for me, the best silent film, um, you know, and of course, haven't even got into the bulk of them ones yet, his best works, um, here we are, with a film that I'd never seen before, actually, you know, 2017 is when I went through the set uh, properly, um, you know, I'd seen City Lights, Modern Times, and The Kid, um, you know, before that, uh, but then I went into, to kind of watch these in order, um, of course, and all the way through, uh, stopped at Limelight once I saw that, um, and of, of course, the only one I didn't see, actually, um, was Woman of Paris, uh, mainly for the reason, um, and here it is, it's on the first um, first kind of half of this set, um, you know, on this, and it's, it's basically, it doesn't star Chaplin um, at all, he's not even in the film, uh, in like a cameo, um, he's just writing, directing, and of course, you know, the music and stuff, um, he would, of course, dabble into so many aspects of filmmaking, he would literally do everything at one point, um, you know, with his... It was later on works, um, and of course, yes, yeah, a true auteur. This film does not star him, and it actually has a little message at the beginning of the film um, to say that he's not going to be in the film uh, starring in there. And of course, you know, because people would probably be uh, looking out for him and stuff, and, and probably be quite annoyed um, not to see him in there, of course. Um, so they put that in there. And yes, this one is not acclaimed really compared to the other Chaplin works. When I say that, you know, it's got a 7.1 um, on IMDb. It is low, you know, a newsflash if you're not really aware of this, that's a low for a Chaplin film, um, for a feature film. Most of his films, his best works, would, you know, have at least an eight. Um, I'm not sure what Limelight has actually, um, you know, it's a bit more controversial and stuff, but The Great Dictator, you know, City Lights and all this, they've got 8.5s, 8.6s, um, you know, and of course, this is literally one of the lowest rated Chaplins um, on IMDb. Rotten Tomatoes, you know, the critics basically, they like it a lot more, um, but, you know, with the rankings and stuff. This one does not, you know, fare too high. Um, I didn't have really too high expectations. I'd never seen, of course, even a short where Chaplin was not in the film. Um, I've seen one where it was literally the only character in the film, uh, One AM, which was was okay. Yeah, um, I liked that one. Uh, but this one, really, you know, I thought I may not even like this film. Um, you know, and of course, I think the seven point one um, after seeing this for the first time is definitely, you know, just. Um, I think it's a good film for me. Um, you know, I liked it in the end. Yeah, I, I did like the film. Um, it had some, definitely had some greatness in there. Um, you could say, but not too much. But it wasn't, um, you know, the Chaplin standards. And it's not just because he's not in the film. Um, it is just literally in every, in every sense. Um, even the music, um, of course, composed by Chaplin, still really impressive. Um, just not, not the usual Chaplin greatness um, for me. This is sandwiched in between the Kid and the Gold Rush. Um, you never really hear too much people talking about this film. You know, they do mention it sometimes, but. Really, in the grand scheme of things, um, there's so many Chaplin films that have talked about, even The Circus. Um, it's kind of weird that this one isn't really mentioned too often. Um, and for me, for respect, it's for a reason. Um, it's nothing special, um, of course. Edna Purviance um, stars as Marie, who's basically this woman who, at the beginning, she's kind of got, she strikes up this relationship with, well, she, she has like a relationship with this, this guy, um, you know, and of course, yeah, it's basically um, Jean, um, played by Carl Miller, and basically, Within 15 minutes, uh, you know, it jumps ahead like a year or so. Um, basically, things happen there. They're meant to meet up at a station, train station, and go to Paris together. Um, and then, of course, something happens, I'm not going to say. Um, and then, you know, she thinks, you know, certain things. And you just jump ahead, and she they're separated. Um, and, of course, the rest of the film is about her, her kind of relationship with, her, you know, kind of her new uh, sort of man, uh, Pierre. Uh, and, of course, she's basically very wealthy um, because of all this. And... But yeah, because of him, I suppose, um, and she's quite, quite you know, well off and stuff. And then um, they come into contact again. Yeah, Jean, um, you know, basically contacts her and says he wants to meet. Um, and of course, 
the rest of the film is just kind of this love triangle, you could say, um, of course, just exploring um, her lifestyle, kind of lavish lifestyle, um, you know, and stuff, and her own happiness. Um, it's a film, you know, it takes a while to really get some of the messages of this film, you know, what it's trying to go for, the, the themes, because it is a bit, a bit muddled. Um, you know, certainly the, the kind of, after, you know, that jump, that time jump, for about maybe 15, 20 minutes, um, it's a bit, this is the most flawed part of the film. It's very, you know, messy, I think. Um, it's a bit all over the place. Um, and just, just a bit flat. Um, there's not too much going on with the characters there. Um, but luckily, once again, it picks up for the rest of the film. You, you could say mostly good or very good um, stuff. Um, overall, it's a good film. Um, but, you know, Edna Purviance, she's in, of course, quite a few Chaplin shorts. Um, you know, she was a very famous actress, um, of course. Usually very, very good um, in the stuff I've seen of her. Um, in this film, uh, you know, definitely not a great performance. Um, you know, a bit flat at times for me, um, with all respect, of course. Just, uh, you know, not the best choice, I don't feel. Um, you know, and of course, I think uh, I think it was Adolfo, Adolfo um, Men Menoir. Um, he, he's basically a very, very big actor as well. Um, he's in the film as Pierre. Very, very good. Um, probably the best performance of the film. Um, of course, Cole Miller as well. Very, very good. Um, End of Purviance. She's good at some part, parts of the film, um, you know, when she's with the other characters that I've mentioned, um, but, you know, at times a bit flat and a bit kind of, um, not a great choice, I don't feel, um, really, you know, the cast in there. Just just uh, a bit underwhelming at times. Um, not some not a character as well, a protagonist that I could really, you know, consistently connect to and, and see her motivations. Um, it's a bit, I don't think the characters are, you know, that well defined. Um, you know, this is this is a film I did not expect to be a masterpiece. Uh, but you know, definitely, it is very flawed. Um, I feel um, and something that never really reaches anything to to stand out. Um, the cinematography, you know, usually in Chaplin films, at least feature ones, you know, are, are masterful. Um, they are something else, and I think they get you know not enough credit. Um, I think Chaplin was one of the best at just uh, you know you know shooting his films. The cinematography, very very simple at times, um, and that's the key thing. Um, just so mastered. The simplicity um, to get all the emotions across um, in this film definitely has some really good cinematography overall. There's not really any parts where it's, it's underwhelming, but by Chaplin's standards, as I say, you know, this film, as I say, in every area really is very, very um, basic compared compared to his other works. Um, you know, even the circus and, and and just you know what other people basically would say are lesser works of Chaplin. You know, I think a head and shoulders above this. Um, there's not as well. It's not. A full-on comedy at all. Um, it has got some some light touches of comedy in there, um, of course. Even the the intertitles at times, um, you know, kind of has some has some comedy in there. Um, but it's not it's not laugh out loud at all for me, um, you know, and stuff. I think it's not meant to be. You know, it does say at the beginning more of a serious drama, um, but but I don't think you know I don't think it's you know that compelling as a drama. You know, it's not greatness there, um, and of course. As a comedy, you know, it, as well, it doesn't really have too much of that. So it's, it's basically just a very, very standard, you know, in, in some regards, film. Um, of course, the characters mostly are not stand out. You know, I think um, they are all good, really, the main characters, but but nothing great. Um, but of course, it does explore some very interesting stuff. Um, I did overall like the film. Um, actually, a couple of moments that I really got invested in. And of course, eventually, you know, the second half of the film, um, definitely a lot better, um, you know, consistently. Does have some dips again here and there, some lulls that you know not not quite as compelling. Um, the endings, yeah. If you've seen the film, um, you know, kind of maybe just some discussions and the comments about the ending, the way it kind of com comes together, the culminates uh, there. I think it's a bit you know kind of. I didn't find you know that it was really a great ending. I think uh, it was a bit messy, a bit muddled, and not too not too clear exactly what you know what it was trying to say there and, and what was actually happening with all. The, all the characters and the way things ended up, um, you know, I think it was nicely presented, but I don't think it was, you know, a completely re uh, realised ending. Um, but again, definitely the second half is better consistently. Uh, you know, I was definitely, you know, quite invested in this film. The romance um, between, um, you know, Carl Miller and Edna Purviance's characters, um, I think definitely compelling, um, you know, very, very uh, sweet stuff there. You know, it's quite moving at times, um, you know, of course, it does tap into depression and stuff as well in the film, um, you know, of her character, uh, you know, and um, basically, yeah, you know, Marie, um, she, she kind of, she does struggle, it shows her struggles and stuff um, throughout the film, but again, I think um, this film, 
from the outset even, it's not, you know, anything close to the rest of the Chaplins. Um, on its own right, it is just a good film. Um, you know, nothing else, I think. Definitely has some very good cinematography. The editing, um, yeah, again, not as, not as you know, stand out or anything, but it is very good. Um, and of course, yeah, the acting overall from the main characters is impressive. Um, you know, I think Carl Miller as well. Really, really good stuff. Um, just, just doesn't really, re you know, it doesn't, I don't think it attempts to really reach too high, um, and it doesn't doesn't get any higher than it basically sets out to do. It isn't presented, you know, anything. Nothing here basically is something that you know. Bas the rest of the Chaplin films are always doing something special. Um, I felt, you know, modern times. Um, you know, of course, these big themes of, you know, poverty and stuff. Um, City Lights is just such an, you know, a film that reaches so many highs. Um, the Great Dictator. All these film films, you know, the kid and as well. They have big big, big sequences. Um, this is very, very kind of simple in many ways and not in the way that, you know, the simplicity that I talk about a lot, but just very basic, um, you know, in its story. Um, it is a simple love story, but, you know, you could say that about City Lights, um, but, you know, it's very, very different. It's not, it's nothing, you know, too great and it's just, it is quite a shame, um, but, you know, I think considering the rest of the chaplains that I'll announce now, I think are great, um, the feature films, that I've seen, you know, I've not seen any after Limelight, um, you know, they're all great at least, um, at least, I think, I'm not going to reveal what I think, you know, exactly of them ones, but yes, yeah, very, very high, of course, ratings, very high on my list, um, you know, but I think this one is good, um, it's probably best not to compare it to the other Chaplin's, but, you know, you, sometimes you can't help it, um, and of course he's not in the film, um, very, very sorely missed, but even in its own right, you know, I think, um, there is some really, really impressive stuff here, um, some flourishes of greatness. You know, it is very, very um, well shot, um, nothing, you know, masterful, I don't feel. Um, and it's, of course, it's well acted. Um, at times there's some good script writing here, but, you know, other times it doesn't really go too far. Um, the music, I think, at times I was a bit, you know, underwhelmed, um, you know, but, but most of the soundtrack, um, you know, the score is definitely very impressive. Just not, nothing mind-blowing, nothing I would actually listen to, you know, like I listen to The Kid, um, The Great Dictator Modern Times, City Lights, uh, Limelight, all these, these these films I listen to, but, you know, the scores, um, quite often actually, um, I think they're all wonderful, um, and yes, this one, you know, by them standards, a little bit underwhelming. So overall, of course, um, I think this is a good film, um, I have to give it a 75%, um, yes, you know, I think, I wasn't expecting much, um, probably maybe people were watching this, but, you know, um, were thinking, I'd give it, you know, a really, really high score um, because it's a Chaplin. This doesn't really feel like a Chaplin. Um, yeah, you could say because he's not in it, but really just in every sense, actually, for me, um, I think it's just not not the stuff I was used to um, seeing from Chaplin. Um, really, the rest, I can, you know, I can actually say this, you know, the rest of his films, because I've seen most of them, um, his feature ones, are far better than this. They are completely different. Um, it's not just, you know, they're, they're better you know, constructed and everything, they are, they don't feel um, like this, uh, this feels very, very different, um, it feels like he's making another kind of, uh, another director's film in a way, um, because it just doesn't seem like him, um, you know, of course, yes, um, he, he achieves some really interesting stuff here, um, and of course, it is very human, of course, um, and it does, you know, it does attempt to tell a love, a love triangle, um, you know, of course, including some things like wealth and stuff in there, there's some themes of wealth, and yes, um, Maybe, you know, at times isolation, depression, but, you know, it doesn't really reach too far, I don't feel. I, I, I'm not really, really moved by this. Um, and th that is, you know, kind of rare for a Chaplin um, thing to do. I think even the shorts, you know, I think are far more, a lot of them are far more moving than this um, from Chaplin that I've seen. It doesn't really, um, you know, have, have standout characters. Um, you know, the kind of, as I say, the music used, um, you know, composed by Chaplin, of course. It's not anything special, um, but very impressive, of course, but just not, you know, not stand out. It doesn't really drive the film like the rest of his, uh, his, his scores do. They don't really, you know, move me in themselves. I wouldn't listen to this, as I say, um, really again. Um, and of course, the direction, everything, it's, you know, I, it's hard to see why um, this is the case, but it's just, it's not really anything close to the way the other films are directed, um, the way they're shot, you know, edited and stuff. It's just um, kind of like he, he didn't quite, um, you know, kind of go for it. His, his, his full kind of, um, yeah, his, his standards really. I think it's just lesser standards by him, by Chaplin. But, you know, the fact that really now I've seen pretty much all of the films, apart from 
uh, you know, the, the last two um, feature films, um, one of course with Marlon Brando, I'm not looking forward to that actually, and of course, there's many issues on, on, on set with, with that one, um, but you know, I think, apart from them two, um, you know, I think they're all good films, um, you know, he's never never made a bad film for me, um, even the, the short that I didn't like as much, I still liked it at uh, 1am, you know, I think it's definitely not a bad film. So this guy, you know, he, he, yes, he was a perfectionist, this doesn't really show too much in this one, um, but as I say, the fact that he's one of the directors, it was not really made a bad film for me, um, you know, said a lot, of course, um, of course. Yeah, I cannot wait to do um, the rest of the films, um, this has got me excited now, of course. Yes, um, as you can see, next up is The Gold Rush, um, we'll be watching that probably um, within the next two weeks, um, I've seen that, of course, before, um, for the first time I saw it, 2017, um, absolutely adored that film, uh, wonderful stuff. And here we have, you know, a straight flush, really, for me, of wonderful films. Um, cannot wait to review them. Um, you know, Chaplin's full, full, you know, kind of mastery comes into play here on out. You know, I think um, The Kid, yes, um, is better than some of these uh, ones after, you know, this film here. But, you know, mostly, uh, you know, the later, the kind of 30s, the 40s and stuff, um, Chaplin was just stand out, you know, I think. And, and, of course, The Gold Rush and stuff, you know, I really... Cannot wait to review them. Um, they're all films that are just, just stunning. Um, you know, I think, and yes, a good film, *A Woman in Paris*. Um, yes, it doesn't have a chaplain in it, but as I say, not my only issues. Um, but I did like the film. Um, you know, I, you know, I was compelled by it. I was a, a little bit, you know, moved at times. Um, not too much. Um, you know, and it's of course very well shot. Um, you know, it's it's very nice at times. You know, pleasant. I think um, just. Just a bit standard, um, you know, it's good and, and nothing more um, kind of thing. And it's nothing too too risky, um, but, you know, I think it could definitely have been a lot better um, for me. But, yeah, I liked it. I would recommend it. Um, just, I can, you know, with quite confidence, I can definitely say it's not his best film um, or anything close. Who knows, maybe someone will like it more, um, but I doubt it, you know. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a good film, nothing more, but definitely um, worth watching. Um, so, yes, thanks for watching my review.